Hey YouTube, so thought I'd do something different uh, and I'm gonna do a video on how to take the tarnish off a mouthpiece without scratching it or using harsh chemicals on it. And I looked all over YouTube and I found some reviews on the internet and some people talk about using salt or baking soda with a lined aluminum foil bowl and uh, somehow that, you know, causes a chemical reaction with the salt and the metal that it takes the oxidation off and adheres it to the foil. I thought I'd try it out, see if it works. Um, I've got some mouthpieces that look like this and uh, some very expensive ones that I don't want to be ruined by using harsh chemicals or stripping the plating. So we're going to see if this works. Um, again, I've got some water boiling right now in there. I had it for about six minutes. So it gets going there, it's boiling. But we're gonna try it out on this mouthpiece, see what it looks like. Right now you can see this is uh, it's pretty black on there. It's over there, but black. Looks pretty gross. And I just made a mouthpiece rack recently, so I want my mouthpiece to look nice and not black. Um, what I went ahead and, like I said, I don't have any baking soda, I have salt. So this is just regular sea salt. Everybody in the reviews doesn't give it a, an exact amount for salt, so I just put some in there. We'll see what it, what it does. So we got it boiling right now. Go ahead and move the bowl right here. Get this out of the way. All right. Let's go ahead and try to grab this without burning myself. Yep, that's boiling. Go ahead and put the bowl there. Lay down. Video. Hopefully, I get everything. Again, I'm trying not to burn myself. This is hot. All right. in there. Just watch it change. Apparently this is supposed to work. You see, oh look at that. It is right there. It's already starting. It's already it's starting to change colors. Back to silver plate. Yep, there it goes. See? It's actually working pretty quick. Now, I've also heard that people after they do this they uh, rinse it using uh, like Dawn soap or something. So that's what we're going to do after this. Again, using a rag, a nice non-abrasive rag, obviously. I'm not going to use like a scrub brush or anything because then I will scratch it. But uh, yeah, it seems to be working so far. Um, I guess I can leave it in for a minute. I'll leave it in for like a good two or three minutes. See what it does. But right now, it's not black anymore. I'll tell you that. Actually, it's decent. Uh, might not even need to put it in for five minutes. Plus, I'd make this a hell of a long video. I don't want that. Anyways, so again, I was looking for a non-abrasive way to polish my mouthpieces without, you know, stripping the, the plating or having it scratched. So I've got some expensive mouthpieces that I don't want that to happen to. But, alright, let's go ahead and uh, take this out. Oh, it's going to be hot, obviously. Really hot. Take it to the sink. Some cold water on it. And I'm just gonna lay this right here. Wash it real quick. Hopefully y'all can see me washing this. 
Sorry, I didn't think about this before. But, here we go. Let's see if we can do this. Get some um, soap. Get it on there. Rag. Let's take off this salt. Everything. Now maybe with baking baking soda it might work better, but it's not black anymore, so it took off some of the oxidation, which is awesome. Said I'm just trying to do something that's not going to scratch up my mouthpieces, and uh, let's just take doing a pretty damn good job. All right, let's go ahead and wash this and. Now look at what we have, and that was just with salt. Can only imagine with baking soda. But yeah, looks pretty damn good. It's not scratched up or anywhere. Well, obviously, what was happened before, but no actual real scratches on it. And it looks pretty good. So the salt actually works. Salt water with boiling water with some aluminum, and you will have your mouthpiece look like this if it was black. Well, thanks for watching. I hope this helps for anybody looking for a way to clean their mouthpieces and make them look good without hurting them. Thanks very much. Talk to y'all later.